freedom for some 60 Georgians. They had been held for more than 10 days in the Ministry of the Interior in Skinvali. I'm from a small majority Georgian village. We were all taken hostage. This woman lost everything. Most of the hostages saw their houses looted and burnt down. Many are leaving South Ossetia with nothing and are leaving their families behind. My father is still a prisoner. They haven't freed him. It's the first hostage exchange. The South Ossetians decided to free only women and elderly men. We're still holding a hundred people. We'll negotiate to exchange them for Ossetians in Georgia. The convoy leaves for Georgia under escort. A last look at Skinvali, the city where many of these Georgians have lived for years. After a 25-kilometre drive past deserted villages, the convoy arrives at the hospital in Gori, the Georgian city still under Russian control. Safe in Georgia, but with nothing left in the world. After negotiations mediated by a Russian general, the Georgian authorities release eight Ossetian hostages. Five of them are civilians, still suffering from shock. Three are soldiers. They pistol whipped us a little. But in the end, it was OK. The convoy heads back to South Ossetia, and in a few hours, the negotiators will meet again to discuss another exchange.